Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you, just whatever the cards want to say. So the last reading I did, I was getting that there was some kind of third party situation. Um, a karmic got caught doing black magic or cheating or doing something toxic with them. Uh, and there's a sudden turn of events. So let's see what the cards have to say about that situation now. Yeah, third party distraction, karmic partner. Okay. X, the past. Manipulation, deception. So your person might have actually broken up with the karmic, but they might not be telling you because maybe they need some time alone to heal from this and they don't want to rush into anything. Um... It kind of looks like that with the X card, but it looks, it looks like they want to make sure that things are really over with the karmic for good because they don't want to lead you on and hurt you. They don't want to come back around and then still be in a pattern that they're kind of stuck with them. And some of them are in love with you, but might be kind of tied to the karmic because they have kids together or maybe they, they're shared finances. Um, maybe the karmic has, you know, rumors that, you know, we see someone here like starting, you know, causing drama possibly. Um, maybe their reputation's at stake. There, there could be something that the karmic is holding over their heads that makes it so that they can't just easily escape. Um, I also see this manipulation and deception card as, as the karmic trying to drag them back in and blindfold them again. Because it's like your person kind of broke free here, but it seems like the car there's still drama going on with the karmic. Like they're trying to drag them back in, maybe trying to remind them of what it was like with or what it could be like with them or what it used to be like with them. Like, I don't think that they were happy with the karmic, but I think they're trying to think the karmic's trying to do whatever they can to keep the per this person there. You know, thinking like, oh, we could, you know, we used we used to love each other. Or we used to do this or remember how we used to do that or, you know, your home is here with me. Like, you know, it's. You know, if you, if you, you know, and I think it's hard because your person's kind of just used to the familiar. Um, and so your person might not be communicating right now just because there is the drama going on. The karmic might also be telling them that they can't communicate with you. Like maybe they can't see their kids if they communicate with you or they can't. There's just something that the karmic has on them. There's some kind of toxic situation that they're wrapped up in. And you don't want to be wrapped up in that with them. You know, like you want... I mean, you want to shield yourself because this energy is very toxic and it could be bringing your energy down without you even realizing it because you're connected to this situation and your person, if you're connected, if you have these red cords to your person, your person is dealing with all this drama, this chaos, then it's like you're feeling it. Even if you're not directly in the situation, you're still being dragged down with, with this situation, if that makes sense. So you kind of need to protect yourself and shield just a little bit more. But yeah, with the sudden turn of events, so it's like an update to what I was getting a couple weeks ago. Um, it's like the karma got caught doing something just bad. Like like I said, it was like black. I think I was going into that in the last video that they got caught like doing black magic. Let me straighten this out for you guys. Sorry. Like they got caught doing black magic or they got caught like cheating or like they walked in on something or like one of like one of the karmic's friends showed your person the texts between them or just some something like they just they got caught doing something really bad. So there's no going back from that. Even if your person did love the karmic, I don't think they can look at them the same after whatever it is just happened. You know, it's like it's things have just changed. Um there's a sudden turn of events. But yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like your person's actually broken up with the karmic. Like they've actually just, it's like a continuation of that story we got a couple weeks ago. I think they actually just said like, I can't do this. Like this is, they know there's no way back. The betrayal was too intense. But there's still drama with the karmic. The karmic's still trying to drag them into something. And if this is your story and you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is... Um, below in the description box it's dragon enchantress dragon in sorry it's dragon enchantress at awol.com but like i said it's right below in the description box so you can just copy and paste it um but yeah i, I do private readings if you want me to go more in depth because this is a general reading you know it is your energy group but 
I can get more specific details in private readings. Okay, so choose a path. New love, fading encounter. Any donations are also appreciated. My cash app and PayPal link is also below. So I thank you guys for that. New love, fading encounter, which is you. You could also have a new love coming in because for some of you, I mean, there's certain situations where I feel like third parties are okay where it's like maybe they had to stay for their kids or something like that. Like that's understandable. But if they just chose someone else, like they just love someone else over you and then they chose them and now they want to come crawling back to you because it's not working with them. It's like, uh, do you really want that? You know? So I think there's two different stories here. For some, you have a new love and the divine is pushing you out of this third party energy because they're like, you know what? You don't deserve to be wrapped up in this drama anymore. For others, I think that it's saying that you're the new love and the divine is, is pushing them through synchronicity to come, you know, forward towards you instead. Happiness, warmth, light. Shyness, fear, rejection. Hmm. Courage, assertiveness, forward movements. Like there's two different paths here. Could be someone you met at a club. Uh, like some kind of social event or like met through friends or something like that. Choose a path. What are your spirit guides trying to say with this? <laughs> oh, sorry. You can't even see that. Let me clear that for you. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I got the choose a path card buried underneath all these. <laughs> so these are the two different paths here. I kind of feel like it's actually saying that you can choose a path. Like, like you get to choose between new love that maybe you might meet unexpectedly, like out, like being more social, like getting out, get out of the house more, you know, be, um, you might have some kind of new love coming in here, or you could go back to this. I mean, you could stay in this situation and like, there is happiness and warmth deep in light here, deep down, but there is like this fear of rejection and shyness, like where I think your person is used to toxic relationships. So it's like, they might have real feelings for you, but they're not used to being loved like that. So it's going to take a lot of courage and assertiveness and motivation on their end to get out of this energy because this could last for a while. Even though they ended it with them, there's still drama there. You know what I mean? Like the karmic's not letting up. There's still, and if they have kids together, it's like they might have to just stay to do right by their kids. It might be a situation like that. Uh, courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. Hmm. Or this could be you. You could be trapped in a karmic situation. And you could either have to choose between a new love where things just go kind of smoothly. Or do you want to work through this and free yourself of this and have something that unfamiliar? Like this ex that's been holding on to you. Do you want to go for that? Do you want to let the karmic go and go for this ex instead? They're this person or this person that you know maybe has loved you for a while, but you maybe ghosted them or rejected them. Do you want to try to have another chance with this? There's a couple different stories here. But for those of you that are just in a karmic situation and just like dragging you down, it's like maybe you just want to free yourself, you know? Maybe it's just time to free yourself. Truth, clarity, pause, reflection, rest. Yeah, I think you need to be honest with yourself because I think some of you have just fought for this for so long that you just don't want to stop fighting for it. So it's like you need that truth. You need that clarity. And I think you can find those answers through meditation, pause, reflection, rest, like going inward, like really thinking about things like, is this still worth it? Because you have two different paths. You can manifest a um, a new person that you might meet like out in public, like a club or just out like, you know, downtown, wherever. Um, just kind of unexpectedly and things might just move more smoothly with them or do you want someone would have to be like courageous to make these changes to make that would be required to make this relationship work 
So it's like, what path do you want to go down? Some of you, if you're if you're caught in this situation and your person keeps choosing the karmic, I would say like maybe it is time to like really be honest with yourself. Maybe it's time to cut them out. Because like I said, I feel like with third parties, I mean, it's ultimately up to you. It's your path. You know, it's, it's for you to decide what you want. But like a third party situation, like it makes sense if the person like has to stay for their kids or they they're trying to get away, but they have to, you know, sort through finances or whatnot. Like there's certain situations that make sense. But if your person just chose another person over you out of like love, like they just chose them, like they genuinely wanted to be with them, then it's like, do you really want to stay in that energy and be their second choice? You know, like you have to, I think you need to be honest with yourself and, you know, ask yourself, what kind of third party situation is this? Like genuinely, it's going to be hard to be honest with yourself with this, but it's like, it might hurt a lot. But genuinely ask yourself, like, did they choose this other person over you out of love or did they choose them because they have kids together? Like, what's going on with this situation? Because I think that you know. I think that some of you keep going to psychics, like, asking, like, what's going on with this third party situation? Like, what's happening? But it's like, you know what's happening, but you don't want to know because it hurts. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they chose someone else, but that's just for a few of you. That's, mo you know, a lot of you, it could be a different situation for sure. It could be like, you know, there's some reason that they have to wrap up this karmic cycle. Like, it's going to be different for everyone. And like I said, I'm here if you guys want a reading, if you want me to go more in depth into what this person's feeling, wanting. Um, I'm very honest in my, I'm, I'm, I'm gentle in my readings, but I'm honest too, you know. There's two, yeah, there's two very different paths that you can go down is what I'm getting though. One of them is new love and then one of them is staying in this cycle where you're being wrapped up into your person's drama with their karmic. Um, and like I said, some of you, it's worth it. Some of you, it is, some of you, it is like this, this is your true love and they just have to figure things out because they're trying to get custody of their kids or something like that. That totally makes sense. There's situations like that, but you got to be honest with yourself and figure out what the kind of situation this is. And I think get out of that stagnant energy and just get things moving in some direction. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. But yeah, I feel like, I feel like there was a breakup that happened. Cause it makes sense because it's like, they can't go back. They knew like the black met, like some of you, for some, like the karmic is doing like a glamor or like love spells or some kind of black magic love spells to keep your person tied to them. And your person found out though. So I think they they're breaking free of that now. Or for others, like I said, it could be cheating. It's something toxic that the karma got caught doing. So like, I feel like the love is gone, but but again, like, what was the reason for staying in the first place? I think that's the question you need to genuinely ask yourself and be honest with yourself. Why did they choose the karmic in the first place? That, I think that the truth, the real, that answer, the truth is what's going to let you know whether you should move on from this or hold on to it. Like, you know what I mean? Because you don't ever want to be second. You don't ever want to be someone's old reliable. Like, no one, you don't want that, you know? But whatever it is, it did kill the love between them, I feel. Whatever it is that they did that happened. Because uh, I feel like I feel like they broke up with the karmic. But then I feel like the karmic like has something on them. So they drag them back in. For so, so Some of them are still talking to the karmic because the karmic is... The karmic is manipulating them and like deceiving them. But it's, it's going to vary from person to person. Like I said, a personal reading, I can go more in depth into what exactly the karmic is doing. But with like an energy group, it's like I'm reading a few different stories, even though it's all the same energy group, if that makes sense. But but the gist of it is the karmic is doing something manipulative. Look at this energy right here. Look at this person's who, blindfolded and this other person's like whispering in their ear. It's very it's very toxic. It's very codependent. So this person's either saying like, oh, you can't see your kids if you if you if you don't come back to me or. Um, I'm going to tell everyone that secret you told me, like, I'm going to tell your family and friends, like the truth about something, uh, or they're saying, um, 
or, you know, they could be trying to be sweet with them right now. Like, you know, oh, come back. We can work through this. Like, it could be how it used to be. They're just doing something because the black magic doesn't work anymore because your person has found out about it and they've freed themselves from that. So now they're res the karmic's resorting to, like, physically having to be decept deceptive. Yeah, there could be a soul contract that they need to end, too, that could keep them, like, kind of trapped and overthinking. Yeah, it's like some of them want to offer you this love and this commitment, but they hesitate because they know they're like they're overthinking it. They're overanalyzing it. I think because they know that there's still drama going on here. Some of them really are genuinely done with the karmic and they do want to be with you now, but they have to like do what's right for their kids or they have to figure out like if they're like living with the karmic, like maybe they're trying not to be homeless because maybe the the place is in the karmic's name or something of that sort where they're like they're done with the karmic, but they have to like do it right. And they could be worried too. Like if you and the karmic have like drama and hate each other, they could be worried that if they text you that you're going to show the karmic to kind of put it in their face. Like, oh, look, like, see, I have him now. You don't have him anymore. Like, or her, him or her. So they're kind of like worried about like, communicating I think or, or saying too much but I mean the desire seems like it's there to offer love but they're they're overthinking it and they're hesitating so some of you waiting hoping praying listening understanding yeah some of you need to set yourself free from this um because it's like you've been waiting for too for too long for this like you need a new perspective but like I said you need to ask yourself some serious questions here I think the main question is why did they choose the other person over me to begin with? And you have to be honest with yourself. Don't, don't, you know what I mean? Like be honest with your, just really be honest with yourself. Like, yes, for some of them, there's black magic involved, but not for all of them. For some of them, they really genuinely chose the other person. So, and there's different stories here. Like I said, some of you, you should hold on to this. Some of you, you shouldn't like, I know, and I can go more in depth if you want, but, um, but yeah, that's the general energy I'm getting here. Um, but there is a potential for new love that would be more smooth. Like, I feel like this person would be single. Um, and I feel like it would just, it might not be quite as passionate right off the bat, but it would be more stable. So you have to kind of decide like what path you want to go down. I think you're just at a crossroads and you've been stagnant. So you need to, you need to get yourself moving again, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I hope this resonates and please subscribe if it does. Thanks for watching.